video. Uh, today we are going to discuss comparison based reasoning questions. How we will solve these questions just in seconds. So let's look into the questions. The comparison type of reasoning questions appear for almost every competition examinations whether uh, it's conducted by SSC or PSC or um, the RRB examinations or the bank examination and even you can see these kind of questions appearing for CAT, MAT uh, and all. So it's really important for you to know how to solve these questions within seconds only then you will be able to complete your paper in time. So uh, we will look how to solve this easily. And when comparison type of questions means a group of people will be compared on the basis of some aspect and this can be uh, their weight, their height, their marks, their intelligence and whatever. So now let's look. I have taken two questions here and with these two questions I will show you how to solve this easily. So let's look into the first question. Here the first question uh, uh, direction is if A is taller than B and C is taller than A, E is taller than F but shorter than B. Then who is the tallest? So you are given some facts and you are asked, uh, you are supposed to find out who is the tallest among these friends. So let us find out. The first statement states that A is taller than B. In this case you are going to draw a big line for A and a shorter one for B to indicate that A is taller than B. And this can be also done using the greater than or the less than sign. But you, while using greater than or less than sign, there are chances for you to get confused. In this case, you will never get confused and you will be able to find out the answer in uh, one go. So this is the first statement. A is taller than B. Now, the second statement is that C is taller than A. That is, you will have to draw a bigger line for C than A. That is C is taller than A. Now coming into the third uh, statement, it is E is taller than F but shorter than B. That is E is taller than F but E is shorter than B. That is you will be uh, placing E in front of B and you will be representing E with a shorter line and it said that F is shorter. That means F will come in front of E and you will be represented with uh, F with the smallest line. So from this image you will be able to understand who is the tallest and who is the shortest. So here let's look into the question. The question is who is the tallest. And uh, looking in here it is evident that C is the tallest. So option C is your answer. The second question. The second question is, there are five boys, A is more fat than B and C is more fat than E but thinner than B. Who is the fattest? So you are supposed to find out the fattest person in this group. So let's uh, find it out. The first statement is A is more fat than B means you are going to draw a smaller line for B and a bigger one for A. Now C is more fat than E but thinner than B. That is C is more fat than E but thinner than B means C uh, will take a place in front of B and you have to represent C with a smaller line and C is more fat than E means E is thinner than C. So you will be drawing a smaller line for E. So this is your arrangement. In this arrangement, you are supposed to find out the fattest person and the fattest person is A. So the answer is first option A. I hope uh, you like the video. So just leave your valuable comments to us and keep watching Bharat Academy.